This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on bank accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you, wherein profit and loss account and the balance sheet is required to be prepared for the bank from the given trial balance and the adjustments. Observe the sum on the screen. From the following trial balance of Canara Bank Limited prepare profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st of March 2017 and balance sheet as on that date. Interest and discount 6 lakhs provide for 5000 rebate on bills discounted. So this is an adjustment and this is the relevant details. Here are you are given the debit balances, here you are given the credit balances, here you are given the adjustments. Now I want to start with this sum. First of all, I will prepare schedules required to be prepared for balance sheet. Then I will also prepare the schedules required to be required for the purpose of preparing profit and loss account. Now as you know that balance sheet holds 12 schedules, 13, 14, 15, 16 are the schedules for profit and loss account. Observe the schedule on the screen that I prepare for you. Share capital, second schedule results and surplus, third is deposit, fourth is borrowing, other liabilities and provision, cash and balance with other banks. These are the five schedules of the liability side. Here asset side starts. Then comes money at call and short notice. Here also balance with other banks are there. Then investments, advances, fixed assets. After that, I prepare schedule 13 straight way. Interest on, then other income, interest expense and operating expenses. So, these are the schedules that I have prepared. Now other schedules which may be required to be prepared, I will prepare at the as and when it is required. I start with first adjustment. Provide for 5000 for rebate on bills discounted. Rebate on bills discounted means discount received in advance. That is to be deducted from the interest and discount income. And this is a pre-received amount. It appears in Schedule 5 other liabilities. Observe it. Interest and discount, that is to be recorded in Schedule 13. From that, amount received in advance is deducted. And it appears on the liability side uh, in Schedule 5, other liabilities and provision, rebate on bills discounted. This is how it, if its effect is to be given. Actually, in Schedule 13, you are required to represent the net amount. You should not disclose the deduction that I have demonstrated, but I am just disclosing for your better understanding. So 595,000 is the income of interest earned by the bank. Next adjustment. Look at the sum. Provide 20,000 for bad debt reserve. That is the second adjustment. This I want to consider. This provision for bad debt reserve will appear in the profit and loss account on the face of profit and loss account under provisions and contingencies and the other effect of bad debt reserve will be given in schedule 5 other liabilities observe it this is profit and loss account the profit and loss account is bifurcated into titles income expenses provisions and contingencies then profit and appropriation these are the titles in which the profit and loss account gets bifurcated now Provision for bad debt reserve will appear in provisions and contingencies. I write in the inner column because I am required to write also tax provision in subsequent adjustments. So this is the one effect. Second effect, it will go on the schedule 5 bad debt reserve. Now this is how bad debt reserve is reported in schedule 5. The second adjustment, two effects. One provisions and contingencies, second other liability. Now let us go to the sum. And look at the third adjustment. So this is the details of the sum. Bills for collection on behalf of customer file X. So this is an asset as well as liability. So it is reported at a footnote at the foot of the balance sheet. It is neither totaled in asset nor totaled in the liability because this bills for collection on behalf of customer. So we are obliged to pay on behalf of customer 
and we have got a right to recover the amount from the customer. So it is asset as well as liability both and it is neither asset nor liability. So it will not be reported in the mainstream of assets and mainstream of liability. This is how it is going to be reported in profit and loss account as the last item bills for collection but it will not be considered in the total. That's an important point to be understood by the students. Next adjustment. Provision for taxation 4000. It will appear in the on the face of in profit and loss account under provisions and contingencies and the second effect of provision for taxation will appear in schedule 5. Just observe. So provisions and contingencies, here I make tax provision. The second effect of this adjustment, provision for taxation, other liabilities and provision, schedule 5. This is how this adjustment effects are given. Now I have considered all the adjustments given to me in the sum. Now I should start copying the balances given in the trial balance. So after doing giving the effect of adjustment, consider the remaining balance of trial balance. Now this is the trial balance that I bring. Paid up capital will go in the first schedule. Share capital, money at call and short notice. This is a short term advance given by the bank. This advance is just for 3 days or 5 days or 1 week at the most. Such advances will appear in schedule 7, money at call and short notice and balance with other banks. So it is recorded in schedule 7. Then come reserve fund, it will go to reserves, cash on hand, cash on hand and balance with Reserve Bank of India will appear in schedule 6, then comes cash with RBI, that will go in the same schedule, schedule 6, fixed deposit is the liability, it will go to deposit schedule, schedule 3, liabilities, then comes loan, cash, credit and advances, that will go to advances. Then investment, upper schedule, schedule 8 investments. Borrowings from city bank, it will go to schedule 4 borrowings, it's a liability. Pension fund, this is also a liability, it will go to schedule 5 other liabilities. Unclaimed dividend also will appear in schedule 5. Furniture less depreciation will go to fixed assets. The first title is of premises, second title is of furniture, so premises less depreciation. Now rent is an income, it will be recorded in other income. So this is the other income schedule wherein I will record rent 10,000. Then commission this is also identified as other income credit balance. Salaries and allowances will go to operating expenses schedule 16. Interest on deposits and borrowing, it's an expenditure. Interest expanded, that will go to Schedule 15. Audit fee, operating expenses. Director fees, operating expenses. Depreciation on bank property. Debit balance, operating expenses. Printing and stationery and other expenses. Now profit and loss account opening balance. So here the income minus expenditure minus provisions of profit for the current year will be found out. In that opening balance of profit and loss account will be added. So I write opening balance of profit and loss account carried forward that I write here in my profit and loss account. This is how I have considered the details of trial balance. Now let me go for totaling. I am going to total all the schedules but I am not going to total reserves and surplus because I am required to make a provision of statutory reserve to the extent of 25% of the profit so I don't close this reserves and surplus schedule. So these are the totals that I am going to make. Cash on hand and with Reserve Bank of India, money at call and short notice. Then comes investment, advances, fixed deposits, I am sorry fixed assets. Then comes other income, interest expanded, operating expenses. Now I'll start preparing profit and loss account. So first of all, interest earned, then comes other income, 
that makes total income from that interest expended will be deducted all operating expense will be deducted so 15 16 and these provisions and contingencies will be deducted so let me make the total of this expenses for like 56000 six like 65000 is the total income this is the total expenditure so i'll get the profit for the year 29000 opening balance 60000 that will be added so this is the balance of profit and loss account available for appropriation out of this current year's profit to like 9000 i am required to transfer 25% to statutory reserve so this adjustment effect is to be given by default even though you are not told in the sum you are required to make a provision for statutory reserve 52250 so here i write statutory reserve 52250 and it will be deducted from this balance of 269000 the balance of profit and loss account will go to the reserves and surplus so 216750 will appear in the title schedule 2 reserves and surplus so this is how i have prepared all the schedules now i can total the schedule 2 reserves and surplus now let me prepare the balance sheet from the given totals first is capital Second is reserves and surplus. Third is deposits. Fourth is borrowings. Fifth is other liabilities. So this is a total of liabilities at 32 lakhs. Now cash in hand with Reserve Bank of India. Now the asset starts. Schedule 6. Then money at call and short notice. Then comes investments. Then comes advance. Advances less bad debts. No, advances only, not bad less bad debts. Fixed assets, current assets, total 32 lakhs. Remember, you have to write only advances, not advances less bad debt. You can write only advances, that's good, that's fair enough. So, this is 32 lakhs. Now, there are no contingent liabilities, so I write nil for that. Dash. This is how the balance sheet is prepared. So I have prepared all the required schedules for profit and loss account and balance sheet. Profit and loss account is also prepared and this is how this sum gets solved.